Hi everybody, my name is Bob McGoy. I'd like to welcome you to the Day in the Life series, episode one. Today, I'm gonna walk you through logging into the 3D Experience platform, ways of opening files, and how to check them in and out of the system. So let's go ahead and get that started. Popping into Google Chrome here, you can see we're logging into this web page above. I'm logging in with my credentials. If you don't have your own, go ahead and do that at create your own 3D experience login. Once in the platform, we're gonna click on the compass in the upper left hand corner, and we're gonna look for the icon in the lower right. That's our connector that connects SOLIDWORKS to the 3D experience platform. If you're using 3D experience SOLIDWORKS, you're gonna look for an icon that looks like the one in the bottom right. The first time we fire up SOLIDWORKS, we need to fire it from the web browser. That makes the connection between SOLIDWORKS in that 3D experience platform. I'm gonna go ahead and search for a file I need, which is a top level assembly that I need to work on. Drag and dropping that from the task pane. It's gonna download the files I need, open them up, and I can start working. Now there's another way to go ahead and open those files up. I'm gonna pop back over to Google Chrome here and do a search inside the web browser and drag and drop that directly on the SOLIDWORKS icon, bringing up SOLIDWORKS, dropping that, and it opens up the file as well. Another way you can do it is by right-clicking right inside the web browser and say open with SOLIDWORKS. Because it is connected, it will download the file directly from the web browser into SOLIDWORKS and you can continue working. So let's take a look at files that aren't up to the platform. This is an assembly that needs to be mounted on the back so I'm going to tell SOLIDWORKS to copy it to my end work directory. Once it's done copying it to the end work directory, it's going to allow me to save that up to the platform. As soon as I'm done with that save, you'll see I'll have a status of green checks. I'll have a rev of A1 and my maturity state is in work. That's great. So let's go ahead and close this out and we'll treat this like we hadn't opened that assembly before and we'll go back to that main assembly and we'll search for it. So this is how I daily work inside the platform. I'll work, look for that file, go ahead, grab it, drag it on, and I'm gonna speed this up because nobody wants to see me model inside of an assembly. So put that, that component together here. So that's about times two speed. I'm pretty quick inside of SOLIDWORKS, but you don't wanna see me doing that. So now that I've got that file in, I can save that assembly up to the platform and all those changes are made with those connections. Now, what I'd like to do is do some model edits to this hub right here. Um, the guys on the shop floor wanted me to actually give part of that a 45 degree twist. So I'm gonna reserve that file by right clicking and clicking reserve. You can see at the top of SOLIDWORKS, it went from read only to write access. So I'm gonna speed this up once again, because you guys don't wanna see me modeling. You wanna see me do a 3D experience platform. So I'm gonna rotate that 45 degrees, go ahead and right click and I'm gonna save with options. And what that allows me to do is save it up to the platform, but I'm also gonna release my checkout and I'm gonna check it into the system. So at that point with that key on there, that indicates that I own it. Now that the key is gone, someone else is available to basically reserve that file for themselves and work on it later. So now that I made some design changes, I'm gonna turn this over to Keith Schaefer and in the next episode, he's gonna show you how to work with dashboards and typical setups of those dashboards. That's gonna be in episode two of the Day in the Life series.